Hi, I'm Cody Anderson, one of the pastors at Parker United Methodist Church. This summer, we have been journeying through a sermon series called Me Movies with a Message. And we've been looking at different movies throughout the generations that really can speak some truth, not only into our own lives, but also into our faith. We know that God uses stories to speak to us. Jesus used parables to be able to teach lessons and God continues to use stories to be able to share with us a message that will hit close to home. This last Sunday, we talked about the great movie, Lord of the Rings. First started off with these huge novels, this amazing story that came about that is filled with fantasy and adventure. And then they were put on screen in the early 2000s. So this movie has a lot that can speak into our lives. First of all, there's this overall theme of the battle between good and evil. We get that battle. We see that battle within our own society, within our own cultures, this battle that continues to go on. But in that battle, there's also all these other themes that really can speak to us. Themes about adventure, about path, our journey through life. Um, themes about standing up for what is right, doing what is good. And the themes about um, facing adversity and being brave and courageous. But especially there's this beautiful theme that is intertwined throughout the movie on friendship. We see friendship as such a key piece of this story. And so how does that speak into our lives? When we look at scripture, we hear from Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter four, we hear this familiar scripture. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow but woe to him who is alone when he falls and has not another to lift him up. Again, if two lie together, they keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? And though a man might prevail against one who is alone, two will withstand him. A threefold cord is not quickly broken. This scripture really kind of speaks throughout the movie, especially in the relationship between Sam and Frodo. See, Sam is journeying along with his friend, trying to help him on his journey of carrying the ring, the ring that will bring destruction um, and will create chaos in their culture if anybody else gets a hold of it. And at the, towards the end of the movie, you hear this beautiful phrase that is spoken by Sam because Sam realizes that he cannot carry the burden that Frodo is carrying. It's too much for him. He will succumb to the powers of that ring. But what he can do, what he can do is journey with him, is that he can even carry him. He, he says to Frodo, um, I cannot carry the ring for you. I cannot carry that burden for you, but I can carry you. What a beautiful image that is portrayed for us um, from this scripture where it says, for if they fall, one will lift his fellow, but woe to him who is alone when he falls and has not a another to lift him up. That picture of, I cannot carry this burden but I can carry you. Who are the friends in your life who have carried you? Who are those who have come alongside you, maybe even in the, in the most difficult moments of your life, whether it was a diagnosis, a loss of a loved one, um, depression and anxiety, fear of the unknown, um, a loss of marriage, who are those people who have journeyed with you, who have been your Sams, who have lifted you up, even though they couldn't carry your burden, that burden was yours, but they were with you along that journey. See, we need one another. That's the way that God has created us. He created us to be relational, to be able to support one another. And the beauty of the church is that we have an opportunity to do that. 
We have a, a directive almost from God telling us that we need to be in a community with one another. We need to bear each other's burdens. We need to walk with each other. We need to support and encourage one another. Often that's hard to do. So as I was thinking about this movie, I was thinking about those people who have journeyed with me, who have carried me. But also I was thinking about the needs that we each have. You know, Frodo is carrying this ring and that's a really hard thing for him to do. And what he really needs is somebody who goes along with him, who sees him, who understands how hard it is and who can carry him, who can be present with him, who can support him even when he tries to push him away. What do you need in your life? What are the needs that you have? And have you thought about that? Because I think sometimes we're really bad about thinking about our own needs and asking for help. But that is also the beauty of these stories is to be able to see the ways in which we can connect with each other, the ways in which we can trust each other and the ways in which we can say, I need some help right now. I need someone to be my Sam who will come along beside me and with me. So in our church, we have these different systems of supporting one another. We have our caring ministry team who shows up for people who are going through things, who send cards if you've lost a loved one or who bring a meal to you if you're going through something in your life, whether it's an illness or surgery or a loss um, in your life, they show up with meals to help you along that journey. We have our um, prayer ministry that prays for one another. If you put in a prayer request, we have a team of almost 40 people who are praying for you for that week. And then we have a team who checks back in to say, is did that prayer chain um, did that prayer change for you or um, is there a different way that we can pray this week for you? We have these classes that support one another, that journey with each other. You know, we have um, choir and other small groups who are there for each other. But one of the things that we know is that we also have to be people who give, people who serve one another, that we each have these unique gifts, these unique strengths, these unique talents, where we are able to help give what has been given to us. So there are a lot of needs in our community right now, not just in our church community, but also in our wider community. So as we go back to school, we know that backpacks and school supplies cost families an average of $200 per child. And that is not even including the clothes and the shoes that they might have to buy as those kids keep growing. And so that is a huge burden for so many. Maybe you can help um, bring some of those school supplies on Sunday and bless a child who is in need and let them have a good start. Maybe um, you can help out in our community at some of our food banks. This week, Secor Cares reached out to me and they service three different counties in our area, um, Douglas County, Arapahoe County, and Elbert County. And they reached out to me, letting me know that there is a huge need in our community to come and to support and to help people who are in need. The people who have been, they have been serving, um, that has gone up over 220% in the last year because we know that times are tough. We know that groceries and other costs have gone up and families are struggling even just to be able to purchase food. So maybe you can volunteer, especially on Wednesday and Thursday afternoons is when they have the huge need to be able to walk beside people as they go grocery shopping through the food bank and being a supportive person that way. But we also have a huge need within our own congregation. If you did not read the midweek, I encourage you to, but one of the transitions that I am making and we're making as a church community is that I am gonna be taking over some of the youth ministry responsibilities. But with that, we recognize that there's a huge gap between the generations in not only our culture, but also within our church. 
that we often don't see the youth in our church, but we really value children and youth. We want them to grow in their faith. We want them to know that they're loved and accepted just as they are. And so we need your help to be able to come alongside our youth. Maybe it is just being a mentor with one of our youth to sit down and to hear their stories, to share with them about your path and your journey, to be able to share with them about faith and maybe listen to the questions that they have. Most of our youth in a recent survey that we did shared that they are seeking. They are trying to figure out their faith and trying to understand it. And uh, having an adult one-on-one -on -one would be really helpful for them. Or maybe you could teach Sunday school, um, junior high or senior high once or twice a month, just to be able to help them with these foundations of their faith. You'd get a lesson and all you have to do is show up and see where God takes you as you teach them those foundations. Or maybe it's coming to um, a youth group once a month you're going to show up you're going to be the person who is there connecting with kids understanding them listening to them asking them questions about who they are maybe you could show up to their games or their activities that they have at school letting them know that you see them and you care you see we all are in this journey together this Sunday, we're going to be talking about the movie Encanto and talking about the ways in which we all have gifts to serve one another. So it's not just about journeying with each other, but it's also about service, about using our talents and our gifts to be able to bring abundant life to our community. So how might you serve? How might you begin this journey of being brave and courageous, doing something maybe that you never thought you would do? How might you be able to begin this path of journeying alongside other people and supporting them wherever they find themselves? How might you be able to be involved with our children and our youth, letting them know that they are loved? In order for our children and youth to have a faith in their adulthood, we know through research that it takes five people who are not their parents to be able to speak and care um, into the lives of these children. So maybe you could be one of those who help bring about a sticky faith for our youth. If you would like to get involved and help out in any of those areas that I shared about um, with school supplies, with um, CCOR Cares, or with our children and youth, you can reach out to me, Cody at parkerumc.org. We want to help you get connected to be able to serve in the way that God is calling you and help you be able to not only be blessed as you give, but to also bring abundant life around you. May God bless you along your journey.